Uh, my name is Ian Clark of Ian Clark Restoration and uh, we're completing the internal conservation works of HMS Alliance here at uh, Sudbury Museum in Gosport. Uh, we started the contract uh, in early spring, in April, and that was the first phase which uh, we undertook the conservation works of the accommodation and living spaces, starting at the junior rates mess and coming uh, aft here to the, to the um, officer's wardroom. Um, the, the, the work has really uh, entailed a deep clean model, uh, doing uh, surface conservation cleaning, uh, enhanced interpretation, replication of missing components where, where applicable. And now coming here, uh, we're starting really the phase, moving into the phase of doing sort of operational areas, navigation, warfare, and such like. Uh, and coming off the wardroom here, now we're dealing with the gun tower, which is directly above us, which. Um, had a twofold function really. Yes, one, uh, first function worked as a, a traditional gun tower to access the, the deck gun, but also um, the SAS or SPS used to flood up out of the chamber uh, for uh, underwater ops. So we're working up in there now, which is really trying to disassemble as many components as we can to, just to make access to the, to the fabric easier. In fact, on the bench you can just see there, this is the, um, the flood valve which was operated from inter inside the um, gun tower or indeed from here inside the wardroom so you could literally close the inner hatch you could then open the uh, sea valve with this mechanism here flood the chamber up, open the top hatch and then the divers could escape out inside and then coupled with this we're also moving into the CO's cabin and the chamber that goes up past the CO's cabin up into the top of the fin up to the bridge 